YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, T. Back at it again with another episode of Talking With T. I'm back home from up north, so without further ado, let's talk about this Detroit Pistons Game 1 Summer League action. We took a loss to the Philadelphia 76ers, 94 to 81, but I, th I thought there was a couple bright spots I would like to talk about with you guys. As Pistons fans, let's talk about Ron Holland. Ron Holland's performance last night wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was just like an okay performance. I kind of looked at it as he was learning the speed, learning the spacing of the NBA last night, just getting familiar with these new teammates they have. We got, we got to remember, these guys haven't been practicing that long. They've been practicing like a week together, the last three days together, and they get thrown into a game. There's no excuses for the loss. I'm just saying it looked like he was learning the guys he was playing with and learning the speed and the spacing of the NBA. Finished with 15 points. A lot of those were solid moves to the basket. Almost had a highlight reel dunk towards the end of the game that hit the back of the rim. If he would have yammed that, that would have been all over Sports Center because that was... Pretty impressive. Six of eight from the free throw line. That's where majority of his points came from. And 0 for 2 from 3. This is where we were all struggling with when we drafted him. Why are we drafting someone that can't shoot? We're just drafting another Asar Thompson. No, we're not drafting another Asar Thompson. This guy's got more control, I would say, on the offensive end. He knows where he's going, and once that shot goes, if he's 6 from 8 from the free throw line, doesn't mean he's got awful mechanics. Asar Thompson can barely hit a free throw. Ryan Holland can hit free throws, so the shot's there. He's just got to develop it more, and we'll see what's going on. The biggest surprise for me last night was Bobby Clintman, and he signed his contract yesterday, so he's inked in for the next four years. But when we drafted him, it looked like he was going to be more, more of a project. He looked like a project out there, but he looked like a really good project. He looks like he's got the tools and potential to be a very good 3 and D player. Like he he looks solid out there. 13, 5 and 5. That's a solid stat line for your first NBA experience. I didn't know he went to Wake Forest, but shot pretty well from three last night. Three from seven from deep. And that one Marcus Sasser dissed out to him and he just shot it in confidence and drained it. That's what you like to see from a Detroit Pistons player. We haven't had one of those players that are able to just line up at the three point and just you know it's gonna go in. We had it with Bojan Bogdanovich, but he was struggling last year for us the last couple of years. The, a little disappointment for me was Marcus Sasser's stat line. One point, the one three got taken away from him. 0 for 6 from field goal, 0 for 4 from three point, and little to no assist. And he played 30 minutes. I need more, I need to see more from Marcus Sasser for him to be my backup point guard. I got to see more from Marcus Sasser. That's all I'm going to say. But Clinton really surprised me. Ron Holland had a really good performance. I thought this was an okay performance. I got to see more from Ron Holland in the next one. I got to, I want to see if Clinton can put back-to-back -back performances like this together. If he can do that, man, I think we might have gotten a steal in the second round. <clears throat> but let's not get ahead of ourselves. That was the first game of the summer league, and I need to see more from Marcus Sasser. Estrada looked pretty good, but these are all G League guys. I'm more concerned about with Ron Holland and Clintman to see how these two look good. And I, 15, 7, and 2, and 13, 5, and 5 from your two rookies in the summer league game, it ain't too bad. Let me know what you guys think about their performance down below in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please keep helping this channel grow. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.